guys, and welcome back to Mika Reaction Reviews. We're reacting to things on the internet. Same day, same shirt, different video. And today we're returning to Dax. And in spirit of Christmas, he has released yet another Grinch uh, musical or Grinch video. Um, he's done these series of Grinches and they're always really hard, so I love it. But anyways, like Dax Grinch goes viral, uploaded three days ago, and it has 828,000 views. I know I'm a little bit late, but if you didn't know, I got a strike on my channel to talk about what's going on globally, so I couldn't get on it as fast as I I wanted to but we are here now anyway this has 92,000 views as well so we're gonna write into it but before you do if you like this type of videos please like comment subscribe hit that button for notifications when I do upload all of that really does help with the algorithm guys and if you'd like to support the channel further you can donate my PayPal me link is in the description box below and also in the comment section of course it helps but you don't have to you can just like comment and subscribe and another great way to support the channel is either join my brand new membership program different levels different tiers different perks or you can visit my brand new merch shop if you guys like the type of videos I react to on this channel, if you like the music and the type of conversations we have, pick up one of these statement shirts today. Start a conversation, speak your mind. We carry t-shirts, hoodies, sweatshirts. Christmas is coming up. Pick up a Christmas gift or two or just treat yourself and it's a way for you guys to support this channel. 9 to 12 business days for the United States, 12 to 15 business days international, and 4 to 5 rush domestic for the holiday season. Pick up your shirt today. Other than that, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Um, this year is gonna be different. I ain't gonna let him destroy me and try to ruin Christmas. I gotta hit Mariah Carey or something. She got it popping in that one song. Be hitting different. Oh, all I want for Christmas is you. Maybe I ask Santa for vocals and go door to door singing Christmas carols to promote the song to the Whoville locals. Something viral. Something to distract me that my life's on a downward spiral. Maybe something Christian friendly in line with the teachings of the modern day Bible. Addictive, catchy, narcissistic for blacks, whites, and LGBTQ like Dave Chappelle funny so I can garner support from Netflix and maybe Hulu. It's the Grinch and I'm back and I'm fucking it up with eggnog patron and drank in my cup. Propane to flame these rappers who suck with a ho 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 hoes and the sluts. Old school flow but feels brand new. I'ma chip off the block and already paid my dues. I'm a sick son of a gun who states my views and ain't fucking with boxing no mainstream news. Green, mean, pristine, out of control, straight shoot. It's just like a stripper, I got a pole still up. Leave no, I cannot go fall off. Only when I listen to J. Cole, paid, self made, and slip thick too. I speak my money, even if it's taboo. In a world of fake, where you can barely beat you, you are now in tune to catch part two. In a world of fake where you can barely be you, <laughs> very, very true. And he is stepping it up in the makeup artist department. And the his Grinch face is getting better and better and better. And he made the hair and everything, loving it. All right, let's continue. Toxin, scroll down my feed, all I ever see is twerking. Couple bad women on my line, hit them in the DMs. First thing they want to ask for the perkin. Gotta be a sign, like Adam and Eve when she took from the tree from the mouth of a serpent and gave it to the man as a virgin. And that's the result, got son, that to carry all the burdens on IG. And it's all violations, guidelines based off a troll straight hating. Some get blocked if they say vaccination, while others get to post on a timeline naked. Only fans taking these simps are amazing. Paying for some shit you can get for free when Pornhub will give you ten times the content for no fee or a fraction exclusively. Man, this shit's a disaster. <laughs> All right, all right, all right, I gotta stop it there. I can totally relate to this. I have gotten a violation on Instagram before for talking about what's going on globally. I just got a YouTube strike, community strike, for talking about what's going on globally. You literally have women using breastfeeding as an excuse to show their titties and their nipples on YouTube. You have naked yoga. You have so much degenerate shit, especially on TikTok. Like, I just opened a TikTok account, and it's literally like I have to just keep scrolling because it's just so much... T ass and titty, ass and titty, ass and titty, all in your face. And this is an app for children, for little kids. And it's ridiculous that you can't have a conversation about what's affecting so many people right now, but you can be so overtly sexual with everything because that's okay because everything overtly sexual is just automatically deemed progressive and moving forward in society or something like that. But yeah, I, I get that. And yeah, the whole like OnlyFans thing. You know what? I don't care if people want to simp or look at girls or watch porn or whatever. Like as long as you are real rounded, older enough adult where your brain is developed and you understand what you're looking at, then do you. But I mean, you can get it for free if you just take the time out to, I don't know, present yourself to a woman in the world or something like that. But let's continue. <laughs> 
I was dating this chick who was mad I wouldn't tag her Daughter of a pastor who wanted to be famous and rich And climb the proverbial ladder Showed me no love till I said I was a rapper Took my time, didn't even try to smash her Went to mass and after her dad the pastor Called me a bastard I was shocked cause I didn't think pastors cuss So I looked at dude and said what the fuck Then she slapped me and he slapped her And ironically I ended up in cuffs Now I'm talking to a judge who's white as Casper Who thinks I'm shady like Marshall Mathers And once he asks why'd I attack her I stand and say green large man yeah, but back to the topic, the flow's like a sea so sick You get nauseous, the Grinch is the name and the drip Is aquatic, a Whoville gangster, you better move cautious I come from a place where they slay you Then artistically wrap you in boxes And the six foot drop you experience Is down the chimney when Santa drops it I'm highly toxic, practically radioactive With a slight chemical imbalance ADHD, bipolar, depression, manic With high level lactic acid Contracted from COVID vaccines From an allergic reaction I got on the 15th booster package Not to mention PTSD episodes from failed Christmas interactions Okay, okay, okay. Got a allergic reaction from the 15 booster package. That's funny. I wonder if that whole story about the wife, I mean, the girlfriend and the, and the girlfriend's father being a pastor and a slapping and going to jail was true. That's cray cray. All right, let's continue. Loving it, by the way. But let's continue. Yeah, I'm the one they said ruined Christmas, but they never told you that they ruined me. What the fuck did you think would happen when you poked the bear consistently from the age of three? I have no siblings or family that they put my life on TV and chose Jim Carrey to play the part instead of choosing me who won my royalties universal call my lawyer you're all fucking sick sadistic twisted misfits this is real infringement and i'm hoping that you all eat shit for christmas my life is a movie they sold the children into trying with ideals from their wicked systems where everyone's rich off the glitches business but doesn't have to deal with the criticism i mean if you do think about it the story of grinch is really just a guy who was just like not loved not wanted not included and he took that out onto the people that he felt rejected by yeah, so he was like one of the first incels. <laughs> get it, get it, get it. No, he just needed a hug. He just needed some hug and some love and some affection, you know what I mean? I mean, loneliness is an epidemic that affects males more than females in this country. But instead of addressing that, we just scream toxic masculinity. All right, let's continue. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make a new movie where I'm the star and you pay me to use me. We'll shoot it in Los Angeles where it's super bougie. And for mainstream appeal, we'll add unrealistic, attainable booties. We'll add racial slurs to trigger blacks, sexual ambiguity, uh, political propaganda, and titties for continuity. Let's get famous TikTokers like Charlie D and Addison Ray. And if it's in the budget, guest appearances from uh, Jake Paul and Summer Rae. <laughs> Okay, I like that whole setup. I like the whole setup because like you can just see it happening. Like there is some movies out there that's already like that. You know what I mean? Like uh, less, especially the political agenda thing. You can't even watch a TV show or a movie without some sort of propaganda in there. Very annoying. Get off your soapbox and just entertain us. All right, let's continue. Viral, dopamine, millions of views and attention. Anything to raise my CPM on YouTube and increase my video time retention. Trending, number one, worldwide box office hit, awards galore. So all the big directors sign me and I become an industry whore. And then at that point when I'm super famous and super rich and can actually afford to go build or go buy a bitch and the cocaine lines that I periodically sniff get mixed with the gin and juice that I sip and I become a role model to millions of kids and lead them to the depths of hell and the darkest pits to benefit and lose myself on constant trips to reality and back where I'm rich but I have no one I can even share it with viral! <laughs> Good. That whole setup was good. Dax, we all know Dax knows how to change up the cadences and the beats, and he just goes in and out of different like rhythms. And I love how he just kind of like talked rap that, but sped it up. That was really really good and so relatable once again because I mean CPM is really important, and everybody wants a high CPM on YouTube. Hmm, money. Anyway, um, and yeah, like that whole like people obsess with uh, validation and fame. Kids these days just want to be TikTok famous, and most people, a lot of people, will do any anything to get that. I mean, people are now killing people and going to prison and committing crimes just to be, try to be famous. The girl who shot her boyfriend in the chest because he held a book in front of him, he died to try to go viral. Like, people are literally losing their lives just to go viral. And then when you get there, you got famous for being toxic as fuck, so now you have all these millions of young fans who are looking up to you and you just continue being toxic as fuck and just repeating the cycle of toxicity and creating a society of, of idiocracy. You know what I mean? But anyway, let's continue. Oh, like the virus. I wanna come in like a wrecking ball. 
like Miley Cyrus Take trips to the White House, befriend Kamala and Joe Biden Discuss policies I think we should tighten While I text Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg about cryptocurrency and the metaverse Then take trips to Waikiki Island Viral! 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 Give me more! I wanna be recognized by everybody at Whole Foods and every other wretched grocery store I wanna lose control, have multiple baby mamas and argue mediation over child support With gold diggers who practice taking off condoms and trapping young stars like me just for sport I wanna- Stop it right there Oh my god Bax is really good at taking so many current events and putting him in his song. You know, even the whole like bunch of baby mamas, like these young men and women, but you know, focusing on men, these young men who are coming up, you know, in, in basketball players or athletes, or even just in social media influencers who get money so quickly, but they have no common sense. They have no world or life skills or life, um, experience no life real life experiences or not or they're not financially intellectual so they get this money really quickly and they blow it or making dumb dumb decisions by having a bunch of different baby mamas and now have to pay all this different child support you know what i mean the lack of father figures all right let's continue be an idol worshipped by society who's perfect to the public but hates himself privately who can't look in the mirror and is screaming but quietly and can afford to go anywhere but doesn't because of anxiety anti-social global tycoon multi-billion dollar ceo sex mogul cover of forbes courtside lakers games right beside frank vogel friends with lebron cp3 d wayne wade and movie stars like will smith the rock angelina jolie and if she approves brad pitt i want to be viral okay okay if she approves brad pitt she ain't gonna approve of shit because they broke up bitch <laughs> Rap it is free. Anyway, um, I like how he hit on the fact that he was like, you know, he won't be able to like look at himself in the mirror. Again, a lot of times these young people will do anything to become famous, and that means if they have to be fake, if they have to put on a whole different personality to get there, if they have to go against their own morals and their own values and their own principles and their own standards to get there, a lot of them will do that, which will eat you up eventually as as time continues. You will become bitter. You will become like this rotten inside and again that's why so many celebrities so many famous people are in so much medication or committing suicide have so much mental health problems going to rehab because they had nervous breakdowns because like they're really not being authentic or their genuine self not everybody not all of them of course not all of them but i feel like because especially the no, I'm gonna say especially younger generation, but not really. It's not just the younger generation. But I do think when you're per when you are born into a society, you're like young people, like Gen Z, I think that's what they're called or whatever. When you they're born into social media, they're born into a culture and society of validation, where you see that they're getting older and they sit down and they talk and say like, I didn't even know what my personality was because it was completely created and curated through the algorithms of my social media account. You know what I mean? So. Anyway, let's continue. <laughs> Off the charts, exponentially big enough to cut my black heart. Judgment in mind, so I can't even go and find peace within my current life. So viral that I lose my mind. So viral that I can't hide. So viral I convince myself that the only escape is suicide. I want to be viral at any cost. I don't care who gets hurt or the lies lost. Because they hurt me first, so I deserve this. I'm the victim. And everyone talks, but few hear and none listen. So this Christmas, it's my turn. Let me shine. You want to be viral too? Well, 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 wait in line. The whole world does. Can't you see? It's not just me. I'm just the Grinch. And all I ever did wrong was be born green. Why does all his Grinch song has to add like end so depressingly? Anyway, that was Dax Grinch go viral. That was amazing. There were so many like gems in that freaking song, but I mean that is just Dax. That is what we like appreciate about him, and that's what we just expect of Dax these days. But that was awesome, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit that button for notifications when I do upload. All of that really does help with the algorithm, guys. If you want to support the channel even further, you can donate. My PayPal my link is in the description box below, and also in the comment section. Of course, it helps. But you don't have to get us like comment and subscribe and another great way to support this channel is you can either join my brand new membership program different levels different tiers different perks or you can visit my brand new merch shop great statement tees and mugs to show the world what you're thinking how you're feeling and type of music you're into i also have a second travel vlog channel i travel as a lifestyle or i live abroad if you'd like to know where i am in the world i'm going to the description box below and also in the comment section hit the link go subscribe to my travel vlog channel and or follow me on my travel instagram my stories is usually what's most up to date and i also have a tiktok and a rumble account links down below you guys have an amazing day bye